everyone, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today to plan out the week of Monday, June 28th to Sunday, July 4th in my classic size Happy Planner inserts that I've gotten from Lights Planner Action. Um, I do use this planner as a catch-all planner, so everything pertaining to the house and things that can affect the house, that sort of thing, um, goes in these classic inserts. Um, as I mentioned, it is size for a classic happy planner, so the pages are that size. I have them punched for the nine discs. The columns are an inch and a half, which is um, the industry standard. Um, but these inserts are actually from Lights Planner Action. I do have a coupon code for her shop. It's coffee, and that saves you 10% off of your order of $10 and more. So, um, I live in the States, so Sunday is 4th of July, which is our Independence Day. So I am going to be using stickers from the Americana kit from my shop. Um, I use it for Memorial Day, and that's why I have some that are missing. Uh, it's going to be, I don't want to say that it's going to be like too similar, because like I didn't use the reds in that spread. I stuck with more of like the lighter colors, but I'm going to try to kind of go back and forth between the different shades. Um, so what I want to do to try to make it a little bit different, I'm going to use these anchors and I'm going to pair them with the pink. I think that would look really cute. And then I do have all of these other ones that I can pull in too. Um, I did use the gingham last time. Let me show you how the other one came out. So this is, hold on, let me move the washi. So this is how the Memorial Day spread turned out. Um, so I did use some of like the, the deeper shades. I used a lot of the pink. So I'm gonna try to, like I said, make this this second spread look very different than the first one. So we'll do a um, second, like I'll show the original, the Memorial Day week again later. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my washi laid down. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do up at the top. I might, I don't know. I definitely want washi at the bottom though because that's my jam. So I may go into my stash and find some five millimeter washi because that's typically what I like to put up at the top. So we will see, I just painted my nails. I also had to trim my nails down much shorter than I typically like them to be because they, I broke a nail and I didn't want to have like one long and, or one short and the rest all long. So. I'm going to go ahead and it usually takes me a while to lay down the washi so I'm going to finish getting that laid down since I have already started it and I will be back once I have all the washi down. Alright so I've got the washi tape down. Um, I will admit right now the color does look a little unbalanced. Um, I pulled in some marble washi. All of the washi by the way is from Simply Gilded. So I pulled in some of the marble washi up at the top um, if I would have known I was going to do that, I probably would have flipped it and put the marble at the bottom and the anchors at the top. Um, but I did not want to put the pink at the top because I do have a 10 millimeter of that. I almost did, but I know I want to use the weekend banner and I know that it would, and I knew that it was pink. So I didn't want pink washi up at the top going across the whole page. So I put a little bit over here just to help with the color balance and we will get that weekend banner down right there so that is good um so here's let's see mm, i know i'm going to layer these over each other like this one's going to be layered on this one because it's as you can see it's sticky it is sticky so i think what i'm going to do is I'm going to take this gingham because I want to like I definitely want to bring in the reds for sure so yeah I'm going to put it this way we are going to be cat sitting starting on the first through the 11th 
and I'm just I'm trying to decide which box I want to use um I think I'll come back to it actually because I'm just not sure so let's see all right so I've got stars and stripes I definitely want to use stars and stripes um, I had tried to use this sticker last time and I kind of ruined it with the undo. There was a little bit of like a sticky residue on it. I can't remember. I think I layered a sticker on top of it. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll just put more undo and wipe it off. No, that failed. So I want to layer, layer it. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to put it over here in the middle. And then this stripes yeah, it's like it's sticky the whole way. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to use some undo. I feel like I'm going to seriously regret this, but it's okay. So undo is something that I get from Amazon and I have it linked below. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stick it down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to layer, let's see, how far can I go? Yeah, I think that'll work there. And then I'm going to take a box. Let's see, we're going to go with the pink. Well, I have pink here. We'll go with the gray. This way I can make sure that I am incorporating the gray. And just make that a whole cluster. There. It's a little crooked, but I'm I am not messing with it. I am leaving it just like that. Now let's see. I actually think what I'm gonna do actually layer this here bring it in a little bit that looks good okay and then I do want to use this one too I just haven't quite decided where um, so what I'm gonna do ooh, 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 I have to use firecracker I have to. So it is an oversized sticker. A lot of times with my kids, I like to put one long sticker over here on that script sheet. So this one, it's actually sized for three boxes. So I could just stick it over here, but I know, I, I think I'm just going to put it down here. Ooh, wait a second. I could stick it here and then it'll be kind of layered. Yep, let's do that. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. And then, let's see, I want to use this Yankee Doodle Dandy. So like when I was originally designing Americana, I, oh yeah, let's, let's put it right here and just make it like part of this cluster. Oh, that is so cute. I like that. Um, yeah, I was just kind of like thinking like, like old school, like I just couldn't help but like singing the, um, not like Yankee Doodle went to town riding, not that one, but I'm a Yankee Doodle dandy, a Yankee Doodle do or die. That song, like that, I just couldn't help but like think of that song while I was decorating all of this. So, uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's how that happened. I think I'm going to save this for my monthly spread. I haven't done the July monthly yet, but I think I will use that on the 4th. And then we're going to put Born to Sparkle right up 
here. Very good. And let's see. We'll go with a little bit of this. Hopefully that is low enough. But it's, I put it down crooked, so that's not good. I'm trying to not waste the edge of it. If I have to overextend it and trim some off, then that's fine. Okay, now that looks good. That looks good. Where's my ruler? There we go. You can either tear washi or you can slice it. I am just choosing to slice it because I don't know why, but like whenever it's like a specialty spread, like a holiday, I just kind of like to make sure that it's um like perfect. So, let's see, we're going to go with, oh wait, hold on. All right, I'm going to regret it, putting down the header first. Because, like, I always do, because, like, I never get it straight. But, I just want to. So, we're going to go with meal plan. That's how I utilize, oh, that one went down crooked. There we go. Okay. Not too bad. Um, that's how I utilize this sticker, is I use it for a meal planning sticker. Now I want to put down two habit trackers over here. So I'm going to use the red from the last year's autumn colorway from the shop. Oh, 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 oh. I should put down a little more washi. Ooh, wait, no, hold on. Maybe not washy. Let's see. Let's do it down here. Okay. So we have the blue. So let's put the red. And then we're going to use this really deep blue from the Blustery Blues. And stick that right on top of it. And then I'm going to go with this this week's sticker on top of those all right so this is looking good so far i'm really excited let's see i do want i'm still not sure where i want to use that full box let's get some plans down um here's the boxes so like i mentioned this is going to be i didn't mention this one this one's going to be for guitar for my daughter let's see I've got two patterns here so I definitely want to use a color so I'm I have been using pink but I haven't I have the pink here we'll just go with the blue and oh you know what I can put it this way and it won't look like yeah Hopefully I like this. Oh yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I like that. Because it's basically centered in the column, which I wasn't trying to do. Uh, I was just trying to line it up with part of that gingham. So yeah, this is going to be to mark off that we are going to be cat sitting for my friend. Um, well, we, my daughter is going to be doing it. Um, but I'm going to go and supervise and make sure that the cat is taking it. She, she watched the cat last year for her too. But yeah, just want to make sure everything goes well. All right, so I'm going to take this checklist. I actually think I'm going to stick it all the way up. Flush against that washi. So this is going to be for just my regular like chores list for the week. And then let's see. Got, I think I'm going to use the uh, the ombre over here and I'm going to stick it down at the bottom of Thursday. So do you have any plans, if you're in the States, do you have any plans for 4th of July? I know the first is Canada Day. Um, so if you're Canadian, do you have any plans for that? Like how do you celebrate Canada Day? Um, also, if, if you're from the States, how do you celebrate 4th of July? Like do you have any plans or anything like that? Um, as of right now, we, we don't have anything 
going on that we're like expecting or anything like that. I'm gonna stick this up here too. I don't think I want that up there actually. I think that's gonna be where I put the uh, the other box. And if I do that, then I'm probably not going to. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna stick this down here. Oh yeah, that's actually really cute. I have two down here at the bottom. I'm not gonna have two up at the top though. But that's okay. I really just want this box. Yeah, I don't wanna put it on Tuesday because like I have stuff on Tuesday. I think what I'll do is I'll put it here. Yeah, I don't want it. Oh, I really want to use this box, but I don't. Well, I have a checklist there. Yeah, you know, whatever. Let's just go with it. Put it here. And then there's a little pocket of space above it. So I can always write something in if I need to. Let's see. Oh, actually, you know what? Wednesday's payday. So let's stick that down. Oh, I forgot to mention, in my last plan with me for this spread, um, I ended up deciding to do an oops bag sale. So that's already gone live. It's... Um, I don't know if there's going to be any bags left when this video goes up, um, but there are 11 sheets in a bag. There's eight that are this size and three that are this size. So 11 total for $12. Um, sometimes like the cut lines are a little off or one day my printer put like a smear, actually I think it was down at the bottom, while I was printing. So like that one sticker on the page is not usable, but everything else is totally fine. Um, so those are live on the channel right now. Website. They're live on the website <laughs> right now. Live on the channel. Haha, <laughs> I'm so, so tired. No appointments this week or anything. Like I'm just trying to think of like what else I need to mark down, but I don't think anything. So on the first, I like to try and like that is the day that I like to change out my contacts. So I'm actually going to oh, use the brush script. I was going to use the simple script. So on a script sheet from my shop, um, although I kind of with the last time I released script stickers, I kind of changed it a little bit. I'm just kind of experimenting. But um, you typically get brush script and simple script and I try to fit as many as I can on a sheet. Most of the time you're able to get at least three of each script. Um, in this case it is four of each one. So yep let's just stick that on this checklist. Change contacts. I do aim to do a load of laundry each day. Um, in summer it's really not that bad. Um, in winter, I definitely have to do a load a day just because like we're wearing layers and jeans and sweaters and sweatshirts are so th like thick. So they take up a lot of space. They take a while to dry. Um, so I typically do have to do a load a day in the winter, but in summer, it's not always that bad. Sometimes I only need to do because of like, you know, shorts and tank tops not being much. Um, I can get by, yeah, I'm going to stick this down here. I can get by with doing one load of our clothes, one load of kid clothes, and then the like random specialty loads, spe specialty loads that I do throughout the week. So yeah, um, this was the laundry script from my shop. Oh, I just noticed I, this doesn't have the actual laundry script down at the bottom. I was wondering why it looked odd. <sighs> Well, that's an oops, but I mean, it's my oops at least, but I finished this sheet, so that's exciting. But yeah, so like stuff like that would be an oops. So like there's nothing wrong with any of these stickers, but I don't like that it uh, doesn't have the laundry thing down at the bottom. So it's probably why I pulled this one for myself. Um, but otherwise, something like this would make its way into an oops bag because I just 
that is how I am with my stickers. Let's see, do I have any? I do still have bullets. Okay, so I'm going to use a top three sticker. Because why not? Um, I am going to put some washi tape down, I think. Actually, I think I'm going to put the five millimeter just so that I have a little bit of, like, a little extra space. Oh, I can't get it started. Per use. One of these days, I'm going to really switch things up and not use my sidebar. Although, like, I try to, like, I really try to keep things super functional. I mean, like, that's, you know, I have fun. I love using my planner and everything, but it needs to be functional for me. So, I don't know, maybe maybe next week I'll do something different and keep track of dinners in the daily columns instead of in the sidebar and do something a little more decorative instead. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, also, I forgot to mention the washi that I'm using. It's all rose gold foil. I originally had pulled out um, these ones, which are, these are silver and this is like a silver sparkler or something. I don't know what it is. I, it was a free washi that got thrown in with the order that I placed that one day. So I don't even know what it is, but yeah, I ended up not using those and I'm using all rose gold, which I love rose gold. So we can go ahead and put top three. Let me put this away. And then we will use dark. I'm not gonna have space for three. It's fine, I'm going to make space. And then we're gonna go with the red. I probably should have done the red, the gray, yeah, hold on. Let's, let's make some extra space here. All right, so we're going to put the blue at the bottom, the gray immediately on top of it. So I I don't like the traditional patriotic colors, like the super bright red and blue. So that was the whole reason why I did the Americana kit is I wanted, yeah, that'll work. I wanted these more rustic -y colors. I love rustic. So instead of red, white, and blue, we have like this rustic red, this gray, and this like slate navy. Slate navy? Is that? I, I don't know. Whatever. You get the point. Now on Tuesday, as I was mentioning, doing a load of laundry a day, um, Tuesday is the day I designate for towels just so that I can make sure that we are constantly getting towels done and it's not turning into like a... Um, we're using all the towels and then don't realize that we've used them all up. It, oh, I should put this on a... Do you have a label? Yep, that's what we'll do. We'll use a label box. Um, yeah, so that I don't like... Everybody uses all the towels and then doesn't realize that we need to wash towels and we have none. Because that's happened. That's... That's why, like, I'm very routine oriented. So if I, like, by establish, establishing that Tuesday is the day that I do towels and staying in that routine, it's just, it's really helped me. So, yep. And that was the Towel Tuesday script sheet from my shop. And then we've got Trash Night. So Trash Night is not being affected this week. I have to see if it's getting affected next week. Um, because with the fourth being on Sunday, um, some companies will let their employees observe the fourth on the fifth and give them that day off instead. That's what my husband's job is doing, which it's funny. He forgot that that's what they were doing. And he was looking because he's had to request off a bunch of like random days and he, because of like the kids activities and everything. And he was looking, he's like, I don't know what, what kid has what going on on the fifth. And it was because of um the holiday i can't think i cannot think all right so i've got i pulled out the workout stickers and i have the yoga stickers and let's see i'm going to layer these on washi 
what one do I want to layer it on though? I feel like I don't really have too much of the pink, although like I'm trying to not use a ton of the pink. So like I have the pink down here. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with this. So this will be good to just bring in some more colors. All right, let's see. I'm going to stick this one up here. And I think I'm just going to rip it and just like try to keep this moving. So I'm trying to like stagger them so that, ooh. Yeah, let's just do that because that works. That looks cute. And then we'll stick this down here. Yeah, Wednesday's a yoga day, so that works. And let's see, this is going to be a workout day. So I'm gonna put this right here, just so that I can make sure that I have enough space. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with her on Friday. So, um, my teenager plays guitar and that's what that is for my nine-year-old um forgive me for not to yeah she's a golfer so we have her set up on a little workout routine so that she can so like we have her doing yoga to help her with her balance and her flexibility there we go um so she does that two days a week, Mondays and Wednesdays. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, she lifts weights. And this is in addition to her actually going and practicing golfing. Is this not cut right? Okay, I don't know. I, I honestly can't keep track of which sheets or oopses that I kept for myself and which ones are like regular stickers that I've printed and cut and are not oopses, so don't mind me. But yeah, so she does yoga on these two days and then she lifts weights. And they're only three pound weights. <laughs> She's nine, you know. Um, but she lifts weights on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And my son actually also lifts weights with her. And sometimes he does the yoga also. Um, he is a racer, he's seven, so we just need to make sure that he has enough stamina to sit behind the wheel, turning his car and everything like that. So they work out, and then when school was still in session, she didn't have, they were virtual, so they didn't actually have lessons on Friday, so I would take her to the course, which, or, well, the driving range at the course, so that she could practice there, or I would take her, oh no, I did take her for actual rounds of holes um, on Fridays. So just kind of, I don't know what this Friday is going to look like though, with it being the weekend before a holiday. So, I don't know. So now what I wanna do is I actually wanna mark off for the 4th of July. Um, I'm sure that we'll end up doing some sort of like a barbecue thing. We'll probably end up seeing what our neighbors are doing. Um, we've gotten really close with our neighbors, so which has been really nice. We'll see if any of them wants to stop on by, maybe do like burgers and stuff or see maybe some of them already have something in the works. So I'm gonna layer those together, one to mark off 4th of July and then one to mark off whatever the plans are going to be. And actually, I'm going to put the scallop one down there too, just like down here. Um, a, because I just want something down in the section because it feels a little blank, but B, I feel like we will probably at the very least go and get like some of those sparklers, you know, um, and do those or maybe C, if any place is doing fireworks that we can go. Last year what we did is we actually drove to the parking lot of the grocery store. <laughs> Sounds so funny. Uh, but we drove to the parking lot of the grocery store at night because a lot of different places were doing fireworks and from that parking lot we were able to see like I think it was 
three different fireworks shows and nobody else was in the parking lot. So it was really nice. It was like super private and we got to see fireworks. So yeah, that's going to do it for this spread. I do really like it. I think I did a pretty good job of keeping the colors balanced out. I kind of wish that I had something else over here because um, I feel like there's a lot of deco over here. Like I've got these boxes like this is a really big and I think that's what it is. It's like I have this big cluster. This is like a you know a cluster too and I have a very full sidebar. I mean like if I cover that yeah it feels more balanced. Yeah I might have to start doing something different with my sidebars. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but as I mentioned, this is the second spread that I've gotten out of this kit. Um, here's what I still have left over. So I have the pinks and the blues, which is really nice. Um, I do have some of the darker shades of the functional boxes, but that's not, that's not that bad. Um, I have one checklist, four bullets, two full box checklists. Um, this quote that I'm saving specifically to use for, uh, no, I'm not going to do it. Forget it. Nope. I was going to use it for the monthly spread, but I just, I don't want to save it. So we will stick it. Yeah, I kind of think I want it just right here. Flip flops, fireworks, and freedom. Cool. Um, so yeah, so I've got that down now. I mean, like it did bring in that light blue, but I mean, like I did use it once over here. So now I have it appearing once on each page. I've got some of the pink, but it's not like too much pink. It is definitely more of the deeper shades and the grays. But now on the script sheet, I just have two headers and these three scripts. Um, and then, like I said, let me show you the other one. So we have 4th of July and then we have Memorial Day. Same kit. Um, so I use the date covers over here and I use, like I said, I use the lighter colors because it just felt, it's just how I, like, I felt better using those. And I didn't do too much over here in the sidebar, but I still have quite a bit in the sidebar. So Memorial Day, 4th of July. So I think, I mean, like, it's two completely different spreads using the exact same kit. Um, so that's just kind of why I designed them the way I designed them. So that's going to do it for this spread. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications so you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I'm at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you all later.